Hello everybody, and welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What's going on, guys? Uh, we are back once again with some Spicy Shark. Pretty awesome. Um, we got the Hot Honey, which been sitting on for a little while. Um, I've actually never even really had Spicy Honey, so this is going to be my first. Um... And then they're new, new, from the Six Fin series. Oh, yeah. Look at that, that label. So awesome. Look at that label. Yeah, it just looks so brutal. I love it so much. Yeah. Gabe is such a cool dude. Gabe and Jill, it was man, such great energy, positive. <laughs> they do a lot of good stuff. For the sharks in the ocean. So when you're buying sauce, you're helping lots of other stuff. Yeah. So, with all that said, they make amazing sauce. Yeah. Um, Good stuff. As you can see, we got the new one and the honey today. And we got some chicken tendies. Chicken tendies. Um, long story short, we were going to have like a cool new breakfast chicken biscuit item. And, well, they didn't have it. They so, didn't have it. Look, I'm going to be real with you guys. I was thinking about the honey butter chicken biscuit from Whataburger. And I was like, oh, yeah, that would be so cool to try to recreate that. Uh, and just none of that even almost worked out. No. So, so we got chicken tandies. There. So I figured, you know what? Honey and some ah, super hot, like, Louisiana-style sauce. That's going to be good on some chicken tandies. Yeah. So that's where we are now. <clears throat> and, uh... I'm just excited because that sounds, it still sounds good. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, so, we'll first, we'll start off, we'll try each one before we try it on the chicken stuff, but um, I'm just really interested in this hot honey. I've been looking at it for a while. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm actually not even, like, experienced with honey to begin with. Yeah. So, like, do I shake this? Does it say to shake? It says don't shake. Does it? <laughs> I was going to say, like, <laughs> we'll explode. <laughs> um, I don't see anything where it says shake. It says store upside down, which I did not do. I just saw that now, so. <laughs> um, cool. So for everybody watching know. this, store upside down. Store it upside down. Um, yeah, I don't know much about honey myself, so I'm not even going to front and pretend like I do. Yeah, I mean... There's a, barely a whole world of, of honey out there. And then do that. not feed the honey to children under one year of age. So just don't do that at all. Um, okay. But anyways, yeah, so ingredients, we got grade A honey. I wouldn't expect anything less from Spicy Shark. Uh, habanero pepper, one of my favorite peppers. Mm -hmm. Natural cinnamon flavor. And that's it. And they got marked medium for heat on here, so... Okay. Um, I don't know if there's a seal. There is a there's seal. A seal. Cool. I guess I would assume. Noob, uh, honey noobs over here, yeah. man. I've never even heard of honey before. What is that? <laughs> wow. Huh. I mean, I, I don't really know. I didn't know what to expect, so. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah, it smells like honey, obviously. <laughs> but you got that little bit of the pepper. I almost could pick up some of that cinnamon, I thought. Yeah, kind of. It's kinda. really faint at oh. the end. Just gonna... Put a little <laughs> ball up on my thing. Why is everything E with you? You get the tendies, your fingy. I don't know, this baby Yoda <laughs> meme thing has taken over my life. It's changed how I talk. Whoa. Whoa! Wow. That's so delicious. Oh. Like, it kind of hit me in waves there. <laughs> at first, the the pepper habanero heat kind of hit me at first. Really? And then the sweet hit came. And then once that kind of the sweet went away, I got the heat again. <laughs> But then I could pick up the cinnamon a little no, bit. I got Very the sweet hand. right away for me. I got the sweet right away. There's a really good honey flavor. And then slowly in the back of the tongue, the uh, a little bit of the habanero bite started to settle in. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> wow. 
That is delicious. <laughs> I like I said, I've never really had honey much ever. Like none of those honey sticks, you know, you see like when I, when you're a kid, like different flavored honeys and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I never had that stuff. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to check yeah. out a bunch more honey now because now that that is amazing. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, dude. He yeah. was. It's not. It's not too bad for habanero because you know it's honey. Sweet things kind of round out heat, you know, to an extent. So it kind of brings the heat, that habanero, it kind of brings it back down a little yeah. bit. So, I mean, for me, it was a, probably a one. Yeah. 0.5 for me, even really. Like, it was. So don't be afraid of this. They had enough bite to it, though. Like, let's say you're, you know, not feeling too good, you know, you're kind of sick or something like that, maybe sinuses or whatever kind of stuffed up. Uh, obviously make yourself some hot tea mm. and then put this in there because yeah. it's going to give it that sweetness that that soothing honey but it's also going to have that bite to it to kind of help clear clear stuff up yeah there you go awesome Man. Yeah, I, I i don't know that's i just had no idea what going what to expect going into it and yeah. that was awesome all right so let's move on to the six fin series the hamagate um yeah, this, I mean, whew, just looking at it, it looks, I guess, brutal. Seeds, um, little, little specks, and just, whew. All right, but for uh, ingredients, we have first ingredient, we got scorpion pepper. Okay. Woo! Uh, and then we go into vinegar, onion, <laughs> roasted red pepper, uh, molasses, water, garlic, celery. Habanero pepper, pineapple juice, banana, and uh, if you've had um, spicy shark stuff before, which if you haven't, uh, you're crazy. But <laughs> banana is kind of their secret weapon. They kind of have banana in most of their sauces. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it in a few of their sauces. Yeah. And I'm not a banana fan at all. <clears throat> so that speaks that they're using it properly because me not being a banana fan. And still being a humongous fan of their sauces, that says a lot. Mm. But anyways, so um, banana, um, tomato, almond, almond flour, sunflower oil, Carolina Reaper, seven pot primo, chocolate chili powder. <sighs> oh boy! Jeez, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Allspice, maple syrup, um, seasonings. Liquid smoke. Now that kind of that kind of scares me because I hate liquid smoke. I hate it. I'm not a big fan of even natural smoke, so it has to be done properly. So I'm ah, uh, that makes me scared. Uh oh. But you know what? <laughs> if anybody can do it, they can do it. Um, paprika, salt, coffee puree. What? And then spices. Okay. Wow. So that. I mean, he's always coming at you with some the most crazy pretty out ingredients. There. Yeah, pretty out there stuff. This is this sounds crazy. Yeah, again. Um, no, oh, I was gonna say no perforation, but there's a slight perforation. There it is. So <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, as you can, as like I said, you can see like, look at this color. Um, seeds, specks, flex. I don't see chunkage, but seeds, specks, and flex. But it's got like kind of a scaryish brown, darker color. So. Let's see what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Smells hot. Oh, wow, though. I smelled hot and I picked up molasses. Okay, yeah. Again, so you're picking up on some molasses. I'm getting a little bit of the tiny bit of the liquid smoke. This is coming off as a very like barbecue, mm. barbecue sauce type deal. It smells amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah, the, the the liquid smoke is in there, but it's not. It's just not. It's not attacking. It's not, yeah, it's not really shining through like the most. Um, I don't know. You want to read? 
read this stuff on the bottle. He's always got awesome <clears throat> stuff on those. Yeah, bottles. so we got uh, half hammerhead shark, half alligator. The Hamagator <laughs> is the inaug uh, inaugural mythical creature of the Six Fin series. With a southern inspired base, uh, we add traditional Cajun seasoning and a hint of smoke. The sauce features the scorching heat of the Louisiana born seven pot primo pepper with a uh, New England accent. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> uh, they say here, you know, it goes great with shrimp, crawfish, gumbo, jambalaya, uh, po' boys, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, dirty rice, meat, poultry tacos, uh, tempeh, and anything in need of flavor and heat. <laughs> well, I can definitely see it, like, right away, like, how they're saying, you know, the shrimp and the crawfish and gum, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it really has and that's why we kind of wanted a southern, you know, style chicken sandwich. <laughs> yeah. But we ended up with Timmy's. So, um, let's let's give this a try before we try it on some Timmy's. This is a little thicker. Yeah, like, the smoke really opens up on the spoon. Woo. Woo! Wow. Alright. I'm a gator. Cheers. Liquid smoke isn't... That was my main concern. And it's 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 blended perfect. So it's not overpowering. It's in there pretty pretty well. Ooh. Getting hiccups. Hiccups, huh? It's hot. It's going to be under the tongue. Ooh. Definitely... Definitely a Cajun. Like... Style. Um, yeah. For heat on that, it's definitely a six fin. Um, definitely the hottest yeah. one. It's definitely the hottest one I've, I think I've, I've had from them. So for me, I'd say like a seven. Maybe more if you had more. For me, it's um, it's a high five going into a six. Let's see, a five to six. Um. At first, it was like it, it was really attacking at first, and then it mellowed out for me like right away. It's still getting my tongue pretty good, and I got like a pretty good spoonful of it. So it's, yeah, no, it, it's a really it's a really good heat. It's got legit heat. So um, I think a lot of people will like it. Um, might not be for like the people who just no, use the normal store sauces no. and stuff. No, this, this is not. This is gonna sauce. whoop you. Yeah. This will whoop you. It's got me hiccuping. Um, it's got a hiccup. Overall, I give this good, good four horns. I really like the flavor. Um, the smoke does not take away from the flavor, and that's always my worry because I'm just not a fan of that. And like I said, there was like I'm not a fan of banana either. I don't know. I didn't even really taste it. Yeah. No. It just, it just they're, they're using it in this magical manner that is just unreal. I get. I'm assuming it's mainly just to give it a sweetness and stuff, and yeah, and yeah there's a sweetness texture, of the sweetness. But I don't. It doesn't taste like banana. So awesome job on that. Uh, I would give it four and a half. Four and a half. Um, it's got really good heat, really good flavor. Um, overall, the honey. Um, I love that stuff. Five horns for me. I'm gonna keep that stuff on hand just for a snack. Yeah. Just, just man, so good. I give it five horns as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I I like the um, just the whole concept of it. You know, it's it's got that really good honey flavor, but with a tiny little bit of heat. It's gonna go on a lot of good stuff.
Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Man, this still got my tongue burning pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Well, honey? Honey, cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Both of them together. I just had both of them together in the same bite. The honey and the sauce. Try that. Right. You got honey in your mouth? Get some of that. Have a gator. Great blend for you know, it probably would have been amazing on what we originally wanted to do. So, I don't want to film too long with our mouths full here, but uh, as you can see, all this stuff is great. High horn rating, as always. Mm -hmm. Spicy Shark coming through. Gabe and Jill, you guys are awesome. Can't can't wait to see what you come up with next. Mm -hmm. Too bad, guys. Keep up the good work. And if you guys want to keep seeing these videos, hit the bell, get subscribed. Uh, like, leave a comment. Um, let us know what you think of this stuff. This stuff is amazing. And as always, keep it hot and heavy.